water restrictions have entered week two as Tamaki yes. Makoto endures its driest year on record. Residents and businesses connected to the metropolitan water supply have been told to use less water. But is it enough? Joining me now is environmental scientist Sophia Olofanga. Tenakwe, Sophia. Tenakwe. So can you just remind our viewers how severe is our water shortage, is Auckland's water shortage, and what caused it? Yeah, so um, for the first time in 25 years, our water storage and our dams have dropped below 50%. Um, and this is because we've had a significant lack of rainfall, which has um, prolonged our drought conditions in Auckland. Um, we've also not added any uh, catchment or climate capacity since 1960, when Auckland was a population of 400,000, um, which now we have over 1.6 million and growing, so that adds pressure on our uh, water resources. What does stage one water restrictions entail? Um, so re for residential uh, people, they can't use an outdoor hose or a water blaster. And for commercial um, people, they cannot use an outdoor hose, water blaster, or operate car washes on this uh, using recycled water or um, and, and also water sports fields um, and paddocks and everything, they, they can't use water unless they have an irrigation system um, with rain sensors. What can Fano do at home to reduce water consumption? Uh, keep it to a short shower, um, approximately four minutes. Uh, run your washing machine and dishwasher only when they're full. Uh, check for leaks around the home flush the toilet less, um, reuse grey water from your shower sink and when you're washing veggies, um, and capture rainwater if you can. Auckland's main water supply comes from the Hunua and Waitakere ranges. What kind of effect does a water shortage have on the environment and our own livelihoods? Um, so we we are now also looking at alternatives um, for our water sources, and that, that means looking at other re regions and, and taking from their water um, storage. And, and then so that puts other strains on, on their hydrological system. Um, and so water security will affect food security and livelihoods. Um, we won't be able to grow as much crop throughout this uh, winter, which, which sustains our life. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's quite a scary issue. In uh, Waikato, I know that the Waikato River is being seen as a place to draw on, but Waikato Tainui leaders are resisting that, and they say that taking water from Waikato River affects the people and their own environment. Can you, do you have any idea what this means, what, what, what sort of effect they're talking about? Uh, yes, absolutely. <clears throat> So um, it's drawing from their tupuna awa, um, so of course it's going to have a detrimental effect to the iwi and haku um, that whakapapa to it. And also um, if they have their own farming um, along that river um, and they're using some of the Waikato for uh, irrigation, um, then it's just moving the problem to them. What kind of solutions do you think the Auckland Council could look at that are better for the environment and people? Um, I, I definitely think that decision makers need to invest in technology uh, like desalinisation plants um, and cultivating drought tolerant crops and um, encouraging sustainable farming practices to reduce water use. Um, but we need to be prepared for uh, further population increases and, and building that capacity to, to provide this water supply that everyone needs. What are some of the no-cost or even low-cost solutions that people could look at as well? Because, as we all know, Auckland Council is broke. Yeah. Um, so uh, our low-cost solutions would be just to catch our own rainwater um, and and make it easier because uh, I know in the metropolitan, if you're connected to the metropolitan supply, um, you, you can't have uh, grey water um, unless you're off the grid. Um, so putting change, changing laws there, 
um, to be able to catch that rainwater and reuse it in your garden, um, rather than just in your garden. Um, that would make a big difference, I think. Great talking to you, Sophia. Thanks very much for joining us. In the meantime, let it rain. Yeah, <laughs> OK, tell us your thoughts on today's programme. You can post on our Facebook page or send us an email, tapatahi at maoritelevision.com. We welcome your feedback. You can even share your stories with us. We'll be back after the break. <laughs>